Okay, let's do this thing. So, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to roll call number two. I uh, hope everyone had a good new year. And uh, everyone is ready to get back into things. I uh, will post the agenda in the chat quickly. Um, agenda's in the chat. And uh, as usual, this will be available on YouTube after the fact, a recording of this call. Okay, um, the first topic for the day uh, is uh, EIP 7587. Um, that is an EIP for reserving a pre-compile address space for uh, RIPs. So basically we can have our own uh, addresses to play with as we discussed on the last roll call. Uh, we brought this up now twice on the um, uh, all core devs call, uh, the, the, the L1 coordination call. And basically it seems to be general consensus that this is a good idea. Uh, the plan is to have it uh, finalized and merged by the next um, the next uh, all core devs, which is uh, the uh, Thursday, not this week, but next week. At which point uh, we can start issuing uh, pre-compile uh, addresses as 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 we need for the roll call process, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we'll guarantee to have no conflicts uh, with the 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 L one. What the, the the one exception here, or not exception, the the one thing that still remains to be seen is whether the L one process, if they start adopting the. Um, our IPs we have, whether they will reuse our address range addresses or not. Um, this remains, this is just an open topic and I think will probably be evaluated on a case by case basis in the beginning uh, as they look at uh, things like whether they would like to include R1 or not. But uh, at the very least, I have the guarantee that there won't be any conflicts. And uh, I don't think it's, I, I, I would be surprised if we didn't see some kind of uh, merging of using the same the same addresses for um, the the things that are redeployed on R one. So that's the major the main topic there, and then uh, the next. That I mean, does anyone have anything I'd like to add to to that? That's awesome. <laughs> Great to hear. Yeah, no, pretty excited to have our own our own space to play with. Um, yeah, that is fun basics, but uh, yeah, it's important. Uh, great, yeah, so moving on, um, the one of the main impetuses to get this done so quickly is the R1 pre-compile that I know everyone is uh, very excited about. Um, and I believe, so that is RIP 7212. I believe that has been finalized on SCAR. Yes, yes today. So Oh, let's go ahead. Oh, okay. Today was the first, uh, the last day of the la last call deadline, and a few minutes ago, on Scrum noise it, and it's now the final RIP, and ready to be implemented by any robot. Yes. Yeah, this is really and cool. So go ahead, Oscar. And Yes, and, and and just to mention, basically, we are um, already in in um, coordination with uh, all code devs. We already assigned uh, the very first address in this in this uh, IP precompile range to to the R one precompile. That it, it should be um, what's that Z zero x one hundred or zero x two hundred? I always forget zero x one hundred. I think right. Yes. Um. One hundred. Yes. Okay. Um, and so while while we we're gonna wait until next all code devs on like a, in a week from now to finalize the EIP that officially blocks the entire pre compare range, we already brought up that one um, case in particular also on all code devs. So so basically this this one address is is, is already kind of finally reserved for for our one uh, from the all code set as well. So so this is really fully no no caveats final. So any any layer two, I mean, I, I assume no one no one is going to ship that one precompile literally in, in within the next week, but but the the um the precompile is is really ready to go. So any any team that is interested, uh, of course, again the the 
the IP process is, suppo is supposed to be opt-in. Um, but but for anyone who is interested, um, the pre-compile is not ready, basically. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that, guys. So yeah, just just to reiterate what that means, that like when RIP is final, that means that the only changes that we can see uh moving forward are changes sort of around the like just the the wording and explanation, but the actual standard itself is not going to change. Uh if we need to change the standard itself, uh we we will need a new um a new RIP and a new address for for using that um that so we can ensure that there are no conflicts so everyone is free to implement this should they choose to do so or not should they choose to do so as well so yeah um any any other comments on uh on this rip Okay, great. Uh, it looks like we're really uh, shredding through the agenda today, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then the last topic I have on the agenda before we get to some more general discussion is the idea of RIP working groups, which uh, Ansgar has been thinking about a bit. So I'll hand over to you. <laughs> Sorry, I had to finish my congrats message in the chat. <laughs> um... Great, yeah. So, so basically, uh, I already kind of mentioned this uh, on the on the last call. Um, of course, we were all a little sad that we we didn't end up having our in person event in Istanbul, where we already had kind of worked out a um an agenda that I I think we all were pretty excited about. So there's a bunch of topics that just can you know we 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 would be really happy to to dive in, but the main roll call doesn't seem like the right place. So the idea is just as an experiment, um. For the next, between this roll call and the next roll call, the next roll call will be in, in five weeks. So that gives us four Wednesdays in between. Um, the plan will, is to have four breakout sessions, same same time, same length. Um, but of course, with a big difference, um, and otherwise weekly would also just be way too 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 much, of course. While the main roll call call, we would really, really like if 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 every team has a representative here, of course, for the breakout sessions, it's much more. It's going to be specific uh, topics, and then uh, this attendance is only only makes sense for people who actually are specifically maybe have already worked on this topic or are interested in this topic. So, so it's 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 fine to skip uh, the calls that that you're not interested in. Um, so then then on on next roll call we can we can have like a little re retrospective, see whether this form makes sense at all, whether we want to keep it up, maybe keep it up on a slower cadence once we basically work through the initial um um topics we wanted to 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 go to in at the in-person event um, or, or just leave it as this one-off um, for January, basically. Um, so we, we have four calls, which means four topics to choose. And the idea is uh, to choose a, uh, the, the topic for the first week now. Um, I have a candidate, I'll, I'll, I'll go into that in a second. And then I, I'm, I'm gonna publish an Eastern Edition thread, hopefully today or tomorrow, um, where we where we can basically see prioritized uh, other other topics people people want to talk to. Uh, I'll have some proposals kind of coming out of this Istanbul event, but but I think since then there's also been a few no, new topics in the roll call chat and everything. So so we can select the other three and three, and then the idea is that we'll announce the the breakout calls at least a week in advance for each of these calls, um, and they'll be on the on the calendar as well. And we'll also announce them in the in the Telegram chat. So so you should hopefully be aware. But again, attendance very much optional for those. So specifically for um, um, I mean, just briefly, of course, if, in case anyone thinks this is a terrible idea, wants to propose any adjustments before I go into the topic specifically. But I assume, okay, yeah, um, I wasn't thinking, just just wanting to give some room. Um, so then for next week in particular, we were we had a question here basically for teams, and and in particular, it, a topic that came up very recently was uh, ERP four eight four four and uh, the Dan Kuhn hard fork. Obviously, that's now finally um, actually scheduled for for this for the test nets um, for Ethereum, and then we basically already are now on a pretty tight uh, that uh, timeline, pretty pretty live timeline for mainnet as well. So the question is, uh, of course, at some point that also means that layer two should start kind of testing testing. Uh, they have four integrations. Um, 
we we are not aware specifically like how far along the individual teams are on this yet. So we, we, we were basically the idea would be to have one of these Wednesdays be be a for it for four testing call where we will have some of the layer one testing people and then the kind of or the, the the layer two teams that 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 are interested in in kind of talking about this come on and and talk about testing. But we were not certain whether next week might be a bit too short notice or what whether teams would already be ready. So the question basically that I would have for this group is whether you all think this makes sense at all, and then whether you think you'd be ready for this by next Wednesday already. And then I have fallback proposals for topics if if that's too short notice. Uh, yeah, Harry. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say on the uh, on the Arbitrum side, that sounds good to me. We're uh, kind of currently targeting having uh, having something kind of viable for uh, having a a man having a mandate a main net release candidate ish by the end of this month. Uh, so certainly in a good place to talk about, and uh, obviously very top of mind. Yeah, hey, I'm working on the um, 4844 implementation for OP stack. Um, I just posted in the comments. Um, we have finalized our spec uh, and are well along the way of implementing it. Um, hope to have a DevNet running on one of the uh, Denkun hard forks uh, shortly. I'm aiming for end of week, but that may slip till next week. Um, so we'll definitely have a release candidate by the end of the month. I'm happy to talk about any of that. Sounds good. Um, of course, the idea is to have this be as useful as possible. Any team specifically that would think they would get more value out of this if it was, say, one or two weeks uh, later, more close to, say, the Sepolia um, hard fork? Or is next week fine for everyone? Of course, again, only those teams that are actively working on this anyway should, should show up to the breakout call or who are interested. I mean, I guess it depends on what are the goals. Are the goals to just to kind of explain where we're at or to discuss options of implementation? I suppose, yeah, what, what, what would the topics be at this um, breakout session, I guess, maybe a little more specifically? Right. So um, I, I, I think basically it depends a little bit on um, when we will have the call. If we have it next week, it would be more about preparing. So talking about the different kind of uh, aspects for for the individual teams, like how ready they uh, they are, and then what 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 specific kind of aspects they would they would want to test, and maybe some insights from the testing team on how to best support this. And um, if it's a little later, say more towards the the Sepolia um, uh, hard fork, assuming that um, Sepolia is where most teams would then end up testing it um, in 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 real life beyond the dev nets, then we could kind of talk more more concretely about. Um, yeah, Sepolia specific issues. Got it. Um, yeah, I mean, next week's going to be really busy for me. So, so selfishly, <laughs> next week would be good, but I could do either way. I'm flexible. Wait, were you saying selfishly next week would be good or would not be good because you're busy? No, no, selfishly I'm really busy next week, so it would be better to have an extra week, but I could be. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Vlad dropped Vlad dropped a comment already for ZK Sync, but essentially we should be ready by next week as well. Um but obviously any time after that is also adequate for us. Yeah, I think good with either next week or the week after. Um, definitely like the idea of having a having a call for sure, since I think there are a lot of interesting dynamics to uh, to talk about. Sounds good. Um, yeah, well, then I'll, I'll just say that. Um... 
yeah, given that no one seemed to have a strong preference to have it as early as possible, maybe we can we can then just pick the the Wednesday two weeks from now. That is the um twenty fourth, which would also make it six days before the Sepolia hard fork, which seems like a good time. It's not hopefully not too busy because it's not right after. Like the the week after might 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 just be, might be busy busy. So could be could be the, the sweet spot. So so then we we'll have the the breakout call two weeks from now, and I'll I'll set that up and I'll um announce it more more officially next two days. Um, then that does leave next week. Um, I had the 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 the, the two um the two fallback proposals that I had for next week. Um, would be and I guess it depends a little on how how in depth people would want to go or whoever would want to show up then. Um, that could be either the the smaller topic, which would just be pre compiled again. So basically, uh, having another look at at the 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 standardization, the 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 range, how to, for example, um, keep track of the the status of which rollups are um, plan uh, intending to to um, to ship which which pre compiles and and how to keep track of these things. Um, then there's also the idea of progressive pre um, pre compiles. So basically, how to how to have a standard of where where the individual application doesn't have to specifically be be recompiled for every different chain, but could have some sort of fallback. There could be st some standard for a, a just EVM implementation um, and and some automatic routing, um, so that that you just call one address, but under the hood it just always works, to, no matter whether there is native precompile or not deployed. Um, so basically, this this all 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 the topics related to precompiles. Um, or the alternative, a bit more on the theory side, uh, a topic that I've been looking into last year as well would be fee markets. So how can we get from the current situation of everyone just having some sort of somewhat hacky way of charging users fees because you always have to account for both the layer one settlement cost, right? But then also the layer two intrinsic congestion pricing. So how can we kind of turn this into a more uh, principled, uh, possibly say two dimensional, but that's just one option. Um, fee market. So, so those were the kind of the, the the two ideas I had for for alternatives to talk about. Is there anything? Is there one of these two topics that people would be more excited about for next week? I I I'd love a call about fee markets. I feel like there's a lot of great stuff we could do there. Yeah, I agree. At the same time, I think that precompiles are probably just uh, easier to do, and also it's something that we can implement right away. Uh, and having fee market is more like long term vision. So I don't know what, what is appropriate to for first next week. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's roughly what I expected. Okay, let's let's do this by then. Um I don't want to take this out too long. Uh let's have next week just talk about precompiles because that also means that we have then and then we have fee markets as the topic after um for it before. So we basically the the then the, the, the next three breakout sessions then would be um precompiles for it before testing and then fee markets that gives us also a little bit more time to actually prepare for maybe for 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 people who are interested in the, in the fee market side. Um, and then we'll pick one more topic to round it out. Um, and then we have the next roll call. I think that makes sense. If anyone disagrees, last chance. Otherwise, I'll just um, post the announcements shortly after this. Um, and then we can just see where this goes. OK. Sounds good. Sorry, um, bringing this out. Um, but thanks. I think I think those are good topics. Uh, hopefully productive. So yeah, looking forward to talking talking with you all. Or again, whoever wants to show up for those um, over the next few weeks. Back to Carl. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Oscar. Um, yeah, I think those are great great topic choices. Uh, I think specifically, uh, one other thing that's worth pointing out here is that we'd like to bring on like other relevant parties that have been doing a bunch of research or um, have thought about this on the L1 side. So the testing call, we'd like to get some of the testing people from the L1 side there. Uh, so we can just have 
sort of meaningful cross layer discussions to at these uh, uh, these working group calls. And with that, it brings us to the end of our agenda. Um, is there anything else people would like to discuss on this call? Uh, there was as uh, EIP slash RIP uh, 7212 uh, about uh, SECP256R1, so P256 curve uh, standardization. Uh, I think it was Ulas who pushed it to the agenda. Yes, let's see. Yeah, so I think uh, I think you joined about five minutes late, Mami. Um, oh, I think okay. We... That's, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I'll read the um, uh, summary. <laughs> uh, it's all all good. All good. Uh, TLDR is um, we finalized the uh, that RIP as it stands because there were no no comments uh, in this this uh, um, the, the final period. So it's finalized at address one hundred. Derek's 100. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else uh, people would like to discuss? Going once. Going twice. Okay, well, uh, thanks everyone. Maybe. Oh. Just, just briefly mention, um, because uh, we we not notice it right. Like in the in the protocol call uh, calendar, in case anyone has seen that, the next roll call is on the, at the wrong date. We we're going to fix that shortly. It should be February fourteenth, not February seventh. So the next roll call will be February fourteenth. Yep. Thanks everyone for attending. Um, hope to see lots of you in these working group calls, especially the testing one, uh, and. Uh... Otherwise, we'll be chatting async and uh, definitely see all of you next on February 14. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.